More and more, police tell us thieves are targeting cell phones and other mobile devices. But a violent robbery involving an eight-year-old boy has some people shaking their heads and a Minneapolis man leaping to action. Surveillance video shows the crime. The boy was punched and the iPad grabbed outside a Minneapolis restaurant. 32-year-old Aaron Stilday was arrested and charged with first-degree aggravated robbery. And as Reg Chapman shows us, police caught him after a good Samaritan chased him down. Let's uh, this stuff uh, gets sorted. Mohammed Armelli is at home behind a stove. <laughs> running the kitchen at Christos Greek restaurant in South Minneapolis. Get the criminals off the ground, uh, off the streets and so we can be able to walk freely, you know. Now he's talking about running down a robber. Poor kid. I mean, I, I can't believe that his blood was all over his face. You should have seen his blood, uh, his no, uh, he could have broke his nose. Surveillance video shows the eight-year-old following his aunt out of the daycare building. What happened next left Mohammed's blood boiling. This is a scum of the earth. He cannot hit a child like that. He just don't hit him for, uh, for his iPad, for anything. Mohammed heard the commotion and went after the robber, with 911 on his cell phone chasing him for more than a half a mile. Then he went to 28th and he went to uh, Best Stevens. And there where I caught him against the fence and I held him up there until the police showed up. Police identified the man as Aaron Stillday. They've seen him before. As I was told, he was being arrested for 60 times. I, I can't believe they let him out. And they've seen this kind of crime before. This is all that's left of the iPad. It was smashed on the sidewalk, but its original value is what made it a target in the first place. These are valuable items that people want. And if you don't have to have them out, you know, maybe you can wait until you're in a secure environment to use them. Well, we do have some good news to share about this. We talked to the boy's sister, and she says they took the shattered iPad to the Apple Store in Uptown, along with video of the incident, and the Apple Store gave them a new iPad.